More machine trouble today. I got this one in the shop. This is Dwight. This is my son's 2018 Ace 570, and it won't start on its own. Uh, the battery tender says it is fully charged, but when you turn on the dash, it uh, says it has nine volts. Nine volts is just about enough for it to go click, 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 and not start. So, we're gonna get this one fixed up. I'm gonna show you how to test all of the components that you can test in this kind of machine and we'll get it up and running today. The first thing we want to do is pull out the battery and make sure the terminals are tight. The battery is right there. So we're just going to pull that seat out and that will give us access to the battery. Here are our battery terminals. We got the negative side and the positive side and we're just making sure that they are nice and tight and clean, which they are. Now I've had this thing on a battery tender for uh, several days and the battery tender said it's fully charged and it's only at nine volts. I put a different battery tender on it, pretty much the same thing, I can only get nine volts. If I jump start the machine, it'll run and drive, says I have 14 volts on the dash, but when I come back, it only has nine volts. So this battery is faulty. I'm gonna put a new one in and then continue on with testing. New battery is in. The machine, according to the service manual, calls for a 14AA2, but I managed to jam a 30 in there and it fit just fine. Uh, it has two different spaces for that bracket to mount so that it can take the big battery or the little battery. The little battery was a, a tiny little 14, but that is the full size battery. It's the same exact battery that goes in the Pro. Uh, I'm surprised that it fits in there. So that should take care of any issues I had with an undersized battery. The one that was in there was a slightly smaller than it should have been. Um, but if you recall, I don't remember if I said this, but we were out riding in uh, almost in Ohio and the battery died on the trail, it wouldn't take any more, so we went to their service shop. They had a trail side service shop, that's pretty cool. And threw that battery in, this one they had, but they activated on the spot. It just was destined to fail. So, that battery's gone. We got a brand new one in there, but I wanna make sure that our charging system is good because if I have a bad charging system, um, I could fry that battery or um, not charge it. And we don't wanna do that. So, there's a few different things we can do to test the charging system, including the stator, we're gonna look at the voltage regulator and all that good stuff. We're gonna check volts on this battery, make sure we have at least 12.4. I have 12.79 right now. That is a very full battery. Um, I like to let these batteries sit overnight because they will drain down just a little bit and kind of settle. But 12.4 is what you're looking for. That means that it is fully charged and ready to go. The next step, if you have at least 12.4 on your battery, is to start it and see if your starting system is charging your battery. If you have one of the newer ones with the digital display, like that, one of the options is volts on the screen. So you can just watch that and it'll tell you. Uh, there it is, 12.7 right there. Um, but if you don't, you'll have to use the multimeter method, which I have right here. I'm just connecting one to each battery and I'm going to start the machine and we're looking for that voltage to be above our battery voltage. So 12 and a half is the mark to beat. And that's at 14.17. So we know this thing is charging. That's normal operation means your stator is working and your voltage regulator is working. We can turn on the headlights and even with the lights on we're still drawing good. I'm gonna hit the brakes, turn on the brake lights. Look at that, we're still sitting good on that. I'm gonna rev it up and see if it changes the volts. They went up a little bit but you'll have that, that's normal. So. So that is what a good system looks like. But what if you didn't have 14 volts in there? What if you still only had your 12 volts from your battery? Well, now we're gonna test the stator. A quick follow-up on that voltage. Anything above battery 
is good. It's past the, they call it break even amperage. And that just means that you're good. Anything above it. I like to see 14. Normal seems to be 14. I do see them dip into 13 sometimes, but uh, that's what we're looking for. Anything above that battery voltage means that the machine is charging the battery. So it's considered normal. All right, stator. Here's where we're gonna test the stator. Oh, it's dark down here. So the stator goes directly from itself to the voltage regulator. This is the voltage regulator, which are known to go bad in these machines. A lot of people will relocate them inside because they get covered and filled up with mud and then they overheat and then they burn out. But that hasn't happened to me yet. So it's still sitting there. Um, but we're gonna disconnect the three wire plug on this one. And then we'll be able to test the stator from right here, which is pretty convenient. Here's our quick wiring diagram, stator right there, three wires, all yellow, going to a temporary component block. Looks like I need to submit a request to the RSD librarian to have the correct symbol created uh, to be D. But that's supposed to say voltage regulator, three wires. And then this is the other one. It's got three wire two, but only two are being used. so. You'll be able to check it. All yellow wires, that's what we're looking for down there. We've got our connector undone, and we're gonna check each one with numbers. It goes one, two, three. And we're looking for less than one ohm of resistance between each one of these. So, one to two. Hello. We've got 0 0.3, 0 0.2 ohms. One to three. Hello. We got 0 0.2 ohms and 2 to 3. 0 0.2 ohms. So that just passed the resistance test. Basically, that's testing to make sure that each coil is complete. There's no break or open in the coil. The next test is to make sure that no coil is shorted to ground. So we're going to go save in resistance and we're going to go open short. see can you see that still yeah you can see that um, let's see is this a good ground yeah that's a good ground right there so we don't want any of these to tone out to ground and that one doesn't and that one doesn't and that one doesn't so that means the coils are intact none of them are touching ground shorting out so this passes the test. The stator is good. For our next test, we're going to start the machine and actually check the AC voltage coming off of that stator. So I've left it disconnected and I'm going to start the engine and then find a piece of wood or something to hold the gas pedal. I'm looking for exactly 1300 RPM. So give me a minute to figure out how to get it stuck to 1500. And then we'll come down and do the next test. Uh, our voltmeter is going to need to be set to volts for this next test. And it's going to need to be AC voltage. See the little squiggly line right there. And I'm going to change the range because I know we're looking for roughly 21 AC volts on that. So it should pop right up rather than let it auto search. That's ready. Let me get this thing running at 1300. Well, I was making it far more complicated than I need to because guess what? The thing idles at 1300. Well, now it's at 1250, but it's pretty much idling right there where I need it to be. Uh, also, I was just thinking of this. Let's look at our volts. Uh, see that? I don't know if you can read it or not, but we're at 12.3, 12.4. So we know we're not putting out the correct amount of voltage on that right now. So if you're seeing something like that, you know your charging system isn't working and that's why you're doing all of these tests. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna check some volts. AC volts hurts, so make sure you don't touch it right now. Here we go. Number one to number two. See that? Yeah, 
that's about 20 volts. We're allowed a 25% um, range in there. So that one's good. One to three. About 19. I saw 19.8, there's a 20. That's about the same. And two to three, there's a 20. So we're putting out the same on all of those. That means our stator is good. I'm gonna shut this off and reconnect our voltage regulator. We know the battery is good. We know that the stator is good. If you're still not seeing it above that break even amperage we're looking for, which you saw with it unhooked, it is at 12.4. That means it's gotta be our voltage regulator. It's the last piece of the puzzle. Engine spinning, turning your stator. Stator is sending AC voltage to your voltage regulator. Your voltage regulator is supposed to convert that AC down to a DC 14 point, whatever volts, higher or lower, depending on your RPM. So that's it. That's your entire charging system. Uh, hopefully your stator is good and it's just your voltage regulator because I'd rather replace 100 regulators than to replace the stator because you got to take the whole side of the engine. It's a nightmare. So that's it for testing. We did it. And this machine is operational again. I got lucky, just a, a bad battery. That battery only lasted four months before it started giving us fits. Just awful. So I'm gonna put it back together and uh, get him back up on the trails. So that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every viewer and every subscriber. If this helped you out, if you wouldn't mind hitting that super thanks button there, that helps me out quite a bit too. All right, take care and we'll see you next time.